she saved taxpayers over $55 million. Finding waste, saving money, because... You is for you. You is for you. Exactly. Yvonne Yu, Democrat for Controller. L.A. politicians lining their own pockets. Three council members arrested by the FBI. The last thing we need is a special interest politician like Karen Bass as mayor. Where to begin? Bass was fined by the state ethics watchdog for taking an undisclosed gift from big oil. But that's not even the worst part. Bass took more than 10 million from sleazy special interests like payday lenders, big pharma, and big polluters. Karen Bass won't clean up LA. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Political fallout from the city of Anaheim's sale of Angel Stadium. That city's mayor has resigned. We'll have the latest. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera, live in Santa Ana. It's been nearly 24 hours since a man driving a vehicle struck three children right outside Taft Elementary School. How those children are doing and the devices that were found inside the suspect's vehicle that is alarming authorities and school staff coming up. I'm Eric Spillman in Woodland Hills. Governor Newsom says unless people do more on their own to conserve water, the state may impose restrictions this summer. The latest coming up live. And good morning, I'm Lynette Romero. In today for Jessica Holmes, we're going to tell you about the sailor who completed a 10,000 mile journey from Italy all the way to Southern California on a dinghy. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 8 o'clock. A fast and the furious shocker. You won't believe the Oscar winner who's on board to the new film. We'll talk about that. Country star Craig Morgan. Uh, this is really interesting. Fighting for his life, as it were, in On the Edge, that new Survivor-esque series. He joins us live to talk about it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, waves not as big as they were yesterday. Those sets yesterday were looking pretty good, but uh, we still have the cloud, the fog, and the haze. Temperatures will be warming up a little bit warmer than they have been over the last couple of days. 69 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 73, 89. San Fernando Valley, 97 in the high desert, Inland Empire, 93, and Orange County Inland up to 79 degrees. Kirk in traffic. All right, Mark, thanks very much. We've been talking this morning about that SIG alert on the 101 southbound near Highland in the Coenga Pass. It's been causing a problem for quite a while. Even some of our coworkers here got stuck in it, but it is now open. All lanes are open and we can show you a map of this area that we've been talking about to give you a better idea of what's going on. All lanes are open. The SIG alert has been cleared. Now let's give you an update on that 710 southbound uh, northbound PCH. Uh, a sigler we've been talking about as well. This is the scene of an overturned semi. They are cleaning up the bales of hay that at one point were in part of that semi and quite the backup extending there too. And now something new to tell you about in El Monte. This is the 10 West at Peck Road. There is one car on the right shoulder and another uh, in the fast lane and already uh, slow going for drivers as you can see it as it approaches the 605 there. So that is the latest on your morning commute at 801. Lynette, back to you. Thanks, Kirk. Breaking news to tell you about right now. Fire crews continue to battle a structure fire at a commercial building in Los Alamitos. Fire personnel from the Orange County Fire Authority and Long Beach Fire Department are on the scene at the building on Kyle Street near Catalina Street. They're working to fully contain this fire. It was first reported about 540 this morning. The building is believed to be a warehouse, but it's unknown what type of business is conducted inside that building. The cause of the fire is unknown at this time. No injuries have been reported. Our state's drought is getting worse and officials meet today in Sacramento to consider more restrictions. Local water agencies are being pushed to do more to get people to conserve. KTLA 5's Eric Spillman is live in Woodland Hills. Did those neighbors come out to <laughs> see you and say hello? Well, well, because you accused me of calling out that last homeowner, uh, who had their sprinklers on too long, we moved to a different location, uh, all right? Good Just idea. Precaution. But, yeah, uh, but uh, to show you what's going on, this is a different story here. This homeowner here is actually pulling out a portion of their lawn and replacing it with a rock garden here uh, to conserve water. We're going to talk to this person here in just a second. First of all, I want to tell you what's happening in Sacramento. Governor Newsom says not enough people are doing enough to conserve. 
have pictures of a meeting he had yesterday with big city water providers like LA's DWP. He told them what everybody already knows, that the drought brought on by climate change is one of the most extreme.